Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save bar. We are jumping in again and we've been playing greed mode with the vanilla characters. We're going to do a little bit more of that today. We did Eden and it was kind of incredible. Um, I think this time... Hmm... Do Blue Baby. We haven't done a Blue Baby run in a while and he is, he is kind of a fun chap. So why not? Why not? Why not give it a go? Um, <clears throat> and yeah, we'll just see how we can do here. See what we can get done and obviously... The extra money that this guy can get from the poop is pretty good. Although I don't know. Do you get a poop charge every wave? I think you do, right? If you do, then that's going to be pretty darn good. Tammy's head's pretty interesting. Growth hormones is probably going to be the thing we take here, though. Because that's going to be pretty darn good. Uh, right, let's just get it going. Yeah, we do get a poop charge. So, we probably just want to leave the poops, like, lying around. Also, we've got the thing to get dips going. The thing to get dips going, indeed. <clears throat> ah, shit. Uh, as for the question of the day today, um, da -da 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 -da. what's, what's like your perfect night in? What would be like your ideal night in? Because I am, uh, I'm about to have my ideal night in. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of an introverted person in general, so I always like a good night in rather than going out and meeting with people. Um, and this Saturday coming up, I'm, I'm like preparing for a, a perfect night in and I'm very very happy about it. Of course, as many of you will know by now, <clears throat> I've been dieting and losing a lot of weight recently, which means I've not been eating a lot of shit, but also you kind of need to eat shit every now and again just to like sort of de-stress, let some steam and kind of keep yourself motivated to do your exercises and dieting later down the line sort of thing. So, um, <clears throat> I, uh, oh god, that was a very bad move by me there. Um, and so I've Every, like once a week or once every two weeks, I do like a, a binge day and Saturday is that day. Have everything planned out. Gonna get an Easter egg, gonna get a waffle with some melted chocolate, gonna order takeaway. We've got a bunch of films lined up to watch. Just uh, me and my girlfriend. It's gonna be just <clears throat> great. I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I'll buy that straight off the bat. I'll get a key after, but I think damage straight away is much, much better for us. Oh god, you are moving at the speed of sound, my guy. Wow. Holy shit, that was aggressive. Sometimes this guy, he's like, does little poots here and there. He doesn't really move that far. That time, though, he really skirt skirted around the place. He really went for it. Use the uh, the block here to uh, dodge. Maybe we can kill him before the next boss spawns in, actually. Just about. Okay, we did. We managed it. Got blighted over him here. Bad hits by me here so far, I realise, but <clears throat> it just kind of is what it is right now. Just got to deal with it. Luckily, large room with this guy means that we can uh, get out of the way of the creep for the most part. Really like the rework of this boss. I think it's an absolutely fantastic rework of a very, very basic and mostly uninteresting boss. Really good way of doing it. Still keeps him fairly easy and like his attacks reasonably basic, but makes it a lot more enjoyable. Right, grab the key. Check what we've got going on in here. I mean, it's not fantastic, but it is at least a soul heart, so I can't bash it too much. Slightly rough room here. I think I'm gonna take you out first because you can actually launch things directly at me, whereas this guy just kind of fills the room up with stuff. I have to be careful regardless, though. I'm probably going to get hit at least once in the course of all of this. There's just a lot going on. A lot to pay attention to. But we'll do our best. We'll do our best. It's the fire that's problematic right now. There's just too much fire on screen for me to dodge. Yo, you bastard. Kind of telefragged me there. Not really, but I'm going to say that he did because I'm annoyed. I'm not I'm allowed to be annoyed and allowed to swear at things if I want to, so... So there. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay, not too bad. Devil deal. 
I mean, we could go Devil Dealer, it only costs one Soul Heart, but I still think Angel Dealer is just always the way to go um, when you're playing Greed Mode. I think it's just much better. Right. Unfortunately, not much money from the from the poops so far, which I'm not super happy about, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, our items thus far have been pretty dog poo-poo. Um, yeah, they've not been great. Jar of Air would be pretty good here. That is very, very good. Um, unfortunately, it does get rid of our active, which reduces our chance of getting money and stuff. But this gives us an all stats up per curse that we have. And we can get multiple curses per floor. And the curses don't actually matter as much in this mode either. Um, so I think it's going to be very valuable to get these all stats up going. And now 9 volt seems like a more appetizing thing to take, to be honest. But yeah, there's only a few curses, like the one that creates more champions, that's really going to be super impactful here. The rest of them aren't going to be so bad. Okay. But yeah, it gives you like plus one to every stat. It's, it's a crazy all stat sub, to be honest. We can probably get at least two charges per floor. Remember as well, we might also start the floor with a curse, I think, which gives us the stat up as well. I'm pretty sure. So we could get another charge here, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to save it for the next floor. So, Jar of Air here. I think I'm going to take. I think the damage to output that it'll give us is pretty darn good with the, uh, the Locusts. It's extra poison damage in that, so I quite like it. Yeah, the damage output's definitely pretty top tier. Oh, bloody hell. This guy's doing his annoying attack where it's very, very hard to hit him. Oh, and he hit me. God damn it. Right when he was about to die. At least we managed to kill him pretty quick. Ooh. Now, this is a potentially really, really annoying, uh, really, really annoying boss enemy. Especially with these guys involved. Hoping to kill those pretty quick, but... Not going so well. There you go, we got it. Monstro drop boy. Just him spawning these dudes I don't like, because those little enemies, they get me all the goddamn time. Oh, fuck. Ah, that attack was really confusing for me there. My feeble little brain could not comprehend what was happening. But yeah, again, we're going for as much donors as we can. I can't remember how much we've got to get on the greed machine to get a holy mantle for the lost, but I want it. There you go, we're good. And I think we take 9 volt as well here. Just to make sure we can potentially get more curses per floor. It's only one less charge, which means it's a, um, a 12 room charge isn't crazy. Is it 12? I, don't know. I think it's 8 actually. I don't think it's quite 12. Oh shit, there was a spider there. I'm getting hit way more than I should be right now to some very, very big blunders, but hey ho, it's how it goes sometimes. There's our angel deal. Good, good. Uh, grants three orbital familiars that cycle through nine variations. Familiars that are fired in the direction that you shoot, with uh, each with different effects. Or we've got the berry. Um... I think we probably want to go... What's, what's this? Uh, the berries fly for every... Eh, that's decent. I think I'm going to go with this, though. This seems more interesting. Seems potentially cooler. Soul heart. Damn it. Soul heart. Damn it. <laughs> Couldn't get lucky there. Right, so this time no curse, sadly, but we could get one curse and get our stats there. Ugh. Gross. Hopefully get a three cent key here. Maybe. Squeezy, obviously pretty good. Aquarius is also pretty interesting. I'm going to go for this. Just in case I got a key, but sadly I did not. We did get some money out of that guy though, which just allows us to afford a key. Yeah, I like these skulls. They're cool. Some interesting stuff happening. Slight visual distraction going on. 
I also don't know what this skull's doing down here. He seems to be kind of stuck. Right, good, good, good. And Fettered Heart is probably pretty good. Okay, one of the skulls just seems to be completely stuck now, which is a shame. Ow. Oh my god, the damage I'm taking has been so unnecessary and bad. Like that, look. Just unnecessary and bad. What are you doing, Skull? Can you please, like, move and be useful? But damage wise, we're doing really well. Things are dying very, very quickly. And then what we got going on in here? So yeah, we'll take Squeezy for the HP plus tears. I like that. Oh lord, you've got a special attack there. Okay, you're dead there. Oh, I really hope I could get the bomb on him there. Couldn't quite do it. Okay, the other skull seems to have disappeared now. We still only have two skulls available to us though, instead of the three. Oh no, he's just here now. Very hard to know what it's actually doing, isn't it? I like that freeze ability there. It's nice. Also, very, very nice to know that, um, do you know, we should probably take out you first. Actually, no, we can leave the little haunts. Oh, no, we can't. We'll just chase us. Stupid. Get away from me, little haunts, you fucks. This boss is very annoying. You are dead good. Oh, God damn. Risky bisky. Breath of life. Wow. Not only is that not very good. I mean, I know it got buffed, but I'm definitely not trading away what I currently have. Now, do I want Aquarius is the question. Aquarius is kind of good. But we don't have any tier effects that would work with it yet. I'm gonna gamble, I'm gonna take it. I think it's fun. Down we go. There are two buttons in this room for some reason. And now there are not. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, we do unfortunately have the the uh, the thingy where thing uh, thingy where thingy thingy where thingy where enemies can randomly become champions. That definitely creates some problems, and also I think the champions won't even drop anything because they don't drop stuff in greed mode. So it just adds additional challenge with no benefit. Oh, you're really gonna give me some kingpins in here? That is mucho gross. Very, very AIDS. Remember when people used to say AIDS for something being bad? What a weird time. I know that I just said it, but I kind of said it jokingly. That used to be a thing people did. Language is weird. It evolves so rapidly and randomly. It'd be a saying that'll like stick around for like two weeks and then no one will ever say it ever again. Strange, strange stuff. Right, first of all, grab ourselves a key. Unfortunately, nothing there really interests me. Check this out first. Leprosy, not very good. Suddenly, it is leprosy. Yeah. None of these items really interest me. D stock, kind of good, but it's an active, unfortunately. Oh, God, these are awful. These are awful.
Stop with the actives. Oh my god. Um, Pretty good, but doesn't do much for us. But I guess I'll buy it anyways. Because it does give us at least a damage up and a soul heart. But still worth something to us. Goddamn love the Mr. Fred rework. Mr. Fred's so much more interesting now. That attack especially is so cool. Okay, we got ha the two halves and then the full one. Also, I love the fact that the two halves got a rework to actually be a unique boss. Took out the fully. Look at this, this is so fucking cool. Ow, taking so much damage. It is what it is. Right, yeah, I'm gonna buy this thing regardless. Because it is at least a soul heart and a damage up, but the uh, unfortunate thing is I don't think the uh, between rooms thing's gonna matter. Ooh, everyone's favorite. Double Skolex. Oh, damn it, that one popped up its tail, I don't even notice. Okay, one dead. Oh, damn, we got him as well. Lovely. Holy shit. That was very lucky. That's very good. I know if we get hit, we lose it, but it's still very good regardless. Just check to see if there's anything in here else we could want. Yeah, we'll take that. Cool. Let's go. Okay. Turned out to be pretty good, that floor. Pretty damn good. Yum, yum, yum. More pennies. Can buy a key on the next floor as well. Still haven't quite got the boss killing capabilities yet, I don't think. The last boss, but we're getting there. Got to remember... Oh, that car battery is very good. I was going to say, we we're only going to be able to get one curse, but now we're going to be able to get two. Skinny Odd Mushroom would also be pretty good. Intruder's pretty good stuff. Mr. Dolly's great. Triple Soul Hearts as well. Yeah. Car battery would be fantastic, because then we'd get two curses per. enemy is. I gotta say, I, I knew I was gonna lose my uh, crown there, because I just did not know where the fuck that enemy went. Give me that. I'll probably take that as well, to be honest. Get my crown back. Try and attack him as much as possible before he jumps. Wow, very quick kill on him. Could use my active again, but I'll save it for the next floor. Oh god, I love that little, like, when an enemy spawns in, sometimes it just doesn't do much. You can get so much damage on it before it even attacks. Go back out here, grab this for the extra fire rate up. Wow, a 1.51 damage down for a zero. 0 0.03 uh, fire rate increase. That was a smart one, that. That was a real smart move there, boy. Bloody hell. Got a devil deal this time, unfortunately. I'm going to take this regardless. Go back in here and get the soul heart real quick. Probably want to start saving up on the next floor. Right, down we go. Oh, we're at the shop already. Shit. <laughs> I didn't realize we're at the shop already. Okay. We're not going to be able to donate anywhere near as much as I was hoping here. It's not going to be an okay amount. And the uh, the playing cards thing 
does have the ability to goldify enemies every now and again, which gives us a bit more money. Got to get as many of those as we can, although it is fairly random as to when that happens. It's not really easy to predict. Don't know what you're doing. Okay, this is good. This this uh, item is really good too. Getting so many different status effects on enemies, and yeah, quite a lot of money too. God damn, it's a lot of money. Holy shit, how was I meant to dodge that? Okay, money's not actually that big of an issue. We got way more than I would have expected. I'm probably likely to get more in the fight as well. Don't take too much more damage. Look at that, every enemy sends a gold, god damn it. I said don't take too much more damage, not do. Okay, either of you does your spinny brimstone and we're doomed, so... Hoping I can kill you before you do that. What on earth is going on right now? The shenanigans unfolding that I do not understand. This guy got changed. I haven't fought him since he got changed. Okay. He's dead. Devil deal. Anything good. That's Judas's something or other. I don't know what that is. Ah, Minus. Decent. Minus does some good damage. Right, down we go. Okay-ish money. We're going to get a little bit more here. And we do have two curses to gain. Whoa. Big boy. Big boy money. Up to seven fire rate. Beautiful. Hopefully we can go a good while without getting hit to keep our double damage. But we'll see. Don't really care about you being healed. Just want to try and go as long as possible without getting hit. I keep summoning fellas that don't like it. Keys. The keys are in. Ah, you fucking bastard. I knew the keys were going to be the thing that got me hit. Because you're always rushing around to try and save your life. Make sure you don't spawn too many fellas. Which I probably should have just let him do, to be honest. So we got more um, more money drops, more things turned into gold. It's going to slow down the fight dramatically. We don't have any bombs to utilize here. I think the main thing that's going to be for us is the skulls and status effects. Unfortunately, one skull is still bugged. In fact, I think two of them are bugged. There's one stuck here, and I think there's another one stuck somewhere else. Fortunately, the keys went bad this time. Oh, for God's sake, dude, stop spawning these. Too many and they take too long to kill. Also, without a head, I'm really having a hard time seeing where I am right now. Yeah, if this skull item wasn't bugged and it actually let you use all three, it'd be pretty good. But it doesn't let you use all three of the skulls constantly. Because they just keep bugging out and disappearing. Don't do hearts again. You fucker! You did hearts when I specifically asked you not to? Okay, I got my three skulls back. Seems random as to when I'm out. Dude, stop with the hearts. Fuck me. 
It's not your time to shine, big boy. Bombs is fine. I can just step out the way of bombs. I like the bleeding we're putting on him right now. Imagine if you did that, if you used the Midas effect on him, turned to gold, and it just turned him into Ultra Greed. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't even think we worry about the keys right now. I think we just go for the kill. There you go. Okay, let's do some donating. Hopefully we can get a good amount donated here. Crack dice. Reedier unlocked. Yay. Now, how many do I have to donate into this machine? Oh, do I, do I need to donate any more into this machine? Or do I just have to go straight over to Greedier now? I can't remember. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.